Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here, coming to you with my Talk About It Tuesday. Um, and it's kind of a two for one, all vacation related. So the first part I wanted to talk about was um, outside influences when it comes to uh, planning your vacations and the things that you you know should or should not do. Um, with us planning the vacation and doing what we do, I, I am considered our travel agent. <laughs> Boss man has labeled me that, so I have a new hat to wear. Anyway, um, I noticed as I was planning our vacation, our girls' trip, I was getting a lot, a lot influences. A lot of influences. And to the point where it got on my nerves. <laughs> um... So my advice to anyone who is looking to plan a vacation, whether it's a week long like us, two weeks long, you know, like other people, or just a, a weekend getaway, do what you want to do because you want to do it. Don't do anything that someone suggests to you unless you really, really want to do that. If you've already set your plans, go for it with your plans. Don't allow someone to step in and, you know, put doubt in your plans and then change your plans. Um, because we were going to Texas, a lot of people kept saying, oh, you guys need to go to Six Flags. Well, first and foremost, Boss Lady don't ride no rides, y'all. I'm not the one. Hey, those days is over for me. I haven't rode a ride since I can remember, and I'm not trying to. Unless it's like the merry-go-round, and even that makes me sick. So, you know, someplace like Six Flags or even going to Orlando and Magic Kingdom or Universal and stuff, I can't do that. So if I was to go somewhere like that, Miss Peanut would definitely have to have a friend um, because I'm not getting on those rides. And some of those rides, I don't want her riding by herself or riding with a stranger. So, you know, that wasn't part of our plan. Um, as you, some of you may know, when I originally had planned our girls' trip, we were not originally going to be in Dallas. We were going to be actually in Louisiana. Two months before the trip happened, plans changed. And it wasn't by our fault. It was just that um, family that we were going to see, they had some different things going on. And so, you know, we just kind of changed our plans. And so I had to make sure that we had attractions to go to. We had things to fill our day. That way, you know, we weren't just sitting in a hotel for a week. Um, I'm the type of person, whenever I'm going somewhere new, I go on their visitors website. I send off for visitors guides. I look at, first I look at all free attractions to see, okay, is it worth my while? And then I look at attractions that are within reason so that, you know, we can still have some fun. And we did both. We did attractions that we had paid for and we did attractions that were free. And overall, as you saw in the recap, we had a great time. So, um, but I still had people pushing doubt into what we were doing and why we were doing and why wasn't we doing this and we should be doing that. You know what? At the end of the day, it was our trip. We loved it. That was it. So once again, if you are planning a trip, do what makes you happy. Just as well as when, you know, we go to Vegas and things that we do in Vegas, we do what makes us happy. You know, um, I'm not going to Vegas to be sitting in some auditorium to watch somebody sing when I can pretty much get all kind of music on the strip. But that's me. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to do what I like to do because why? I want to. So that's my advice, number one, is to make sure that you do what you want to do when you are planning your trips. Now, the other part of this two-for-one that I want to give you about vacationing is... We all have cell phones. Everybody has a cell phone, whether it's a Boost Mobile, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, you know, T-Mobile, whatever. Somebody, everybody has a cell phone. When you are going on vacation and you are either going away from home, even if you're staying at home, turn your cell phones off. Tune out. You know, or if you are going to tune in, tune in for a very limited time. Do not take your vacation to still be plugged into what's going on here, what's going on there. I mean, granted, yes, we do have to be mindful of 
our surroundings. So, you know, you might want to catch the news every now and then. Make sure ain't nobody, you know, shooting up the place or something. But, you know, don't just be so tuned into your phone that you're not enjoying yourself on your vacation. Case in point. Um, because we were traveling to a city that we hadn't been to before. And I was going to be doing some excessive driving between Dallas as well as Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, my mom was very apprehensive. She was terrified. My mom wanted me to text her when I got up, when I went for breakfast, when I left the hotel, when I got on the road, when I got to my destination, you know, and then when I left the destination, when I'm going to the next place and next place and next place and next place, my mom was terrified to the point where I had to tune it out. Um, now, I didn't turn my phone off because, one, if something was to happen, I wanted to be able to have my phone on. Two, I wanted Miss Pena to have communication with her father. So, you know, even though, yes, we're on our girls' trip, I still wanted to be in communication with my husband because it wasn't that, you know, I was mad at him or whatever. I want him to see that your baby's having a great time, you know, your baby wants to talk to you, stuff like that. So, you know, I think we talked to him... We verbally talked to him every other day, but we did text him, you know, a couple times the other day. Like, we would text him good morning when he was getting ready to go to work, have a great day, you know. And then we might text him when we were at an attraction to say, hey, look where we're at, look what we're doing. You know, and we definitely made sure that we text and say good night, you know, because that's a big thing with us. When it's time to go to bed, everybody says good night, love you, say prayers, things like that. So, we did do that. But, um, all the excessive texting, no cut that out um if you're part of different social medias outside of instagram i say stay off of it i mean i did post some things on instagram but it was things that were funny like i would take a picture of something and miss peanut would say mommy post it to instagram you know see what the people say you know just like when i posted a picture about paying paying our respects to harambe's family you know it it wasn't funny in the fact of, oh, a gorilla lost his life, but the fact that we were at a zoo that was not even the zoo where he was from, you know, saying we we're paying our respects, that part of it was funny to me. So, and to her, and so she said, oh, mommy, post that on Instagram, you know. Um, but it wasn't like I was on Instagram all day long. A lot of times, if people kind of check when I was posting pictures, I was posting them pretty much at night when Miss Peanut was already in bed and she was asleep. So then I would be on Instagram and I might post a couple pictures then to say, oh, you know, we did this today or something. Um, but I definitely would say, you know, tune out. You know, it's time to unplug or, you know, disconnect yourself. You know, really get your time vacationing, relaxing, rejuvenating, getting yourself back together. You know, I'm a part of a group me chat and I didn't chat the whole entire time, you know, um, because I want I wanted my time away. I didn't want to be, oh, you know, oh, we're doing this and then having conversation after conversation and then I'm ignoring my child. You know, I want to be able to spend time with her and enjoy her and bond with her and, and make those memories. So, um, you know, so that's my two for one. You know, definitely listen to your own self. Choose the attractions and things that you want to do for your vacation. And then, you know, just disconnect from the outside world. You know, because if you don't, then you don't get a vacation. Um, I know I kind of upset some feelings, you know, because I'm like, look, <laughs> I'm on vacation. I can't talk right now. You know what I'm saying? Phone ringing. Uh, no, you know, you deal with what you deal with by yourself. I'm on vacation. There's nothing I can do a thousand miles away. So, you know, that's what it is. Um, Miss Pina and I, we made a pact. Right before um, we went on vacation, we, you know, I, I kept saying things like, I hope we have a good time. I hope everything goes well. And she said, no, mama, you're saying it wrong. We are going to have a good time. Everything is going to go well. And I'm so happy that my daughter, being nine, can speak it into the atmosphere. And so, you know, she taught me, you know, no, don't question it. This is what it is. This is what it is. We're going to have a great time. And we did. You know, um, some people got jealous. Sorry. 
you know, um, you know, if you have children, if you, well, if you have children or if you have a child, you know, you can make your memories. It doesn't have to be a week long trip like what we did. You can do all kinds of things and build and make memories. I do things with Miss Peanut all the time for free, you know, and I mean, we're constantly building memories and making lasting impressions on each other. So it's possible, you know, if you plan for it. So that's my talk about it Tuesday, guys. I just wanted to kind of just wrap up this whole vacation piece, you know, um, because that, that was the last part of it that I thought was very important is that, you know, People don't understand that when you go on vacation, even though you have a cell phone, they constantly want to call you. They constantly want to text you. Really? No. You know, I mean, it's one thing to say, hey, but don't hold a conversation. I'm on vacation. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then people don't understand that their opinions to what you should do, they're just not warranted. You know, if that's what they want to do, then they should do that. But don't put it off on someone else. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, and it's funny because when we came back and, you know, we had our pictures, people, oh my God, you guys had a great time. Yeah, we did. And we did what we sought out to do. So, um, but that's my talk about Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you have not. If you're new to the channel, I am the boss lady, also known as Sharon. For all my long-term subscribers, I thank you so much for hanging in there with me, being a part of Bossland, and I will see everybody in a new video.